tonight. God, we want to be more like you in the name of Jesus. More and more like you. So God, I pray that you'll work your will into our lives. Give us to say yes to your will. Give us to say yes to your way. Give us to say yes to your word. In the name of Jesus. God, we just thank you. We pray to God and hide you behind your cross. God, that they will see and hear you only. In the name of Jesus, that the lives can be transformed, that souls can be saved, oh God, that bodies can be healed tonight through your word. And so God, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory for what you have done, for what you're doing right now, for what you're going to do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. You'll probably hear it if you come every day, probably once per service. This is what we're going to build our message from this weekend. Galatians 5 and 1. It says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. You may be seated. I am so glad to be here. Amen. I am. It's uh, been a minute since I've been here, and I always ask, how y'all doing? And I always get good reports, and I thank the Lord for that. Um, I just thank him for allowing us to get here. Amen. Yeah, it seemed like it was taking a while driving. I said, Lord, you got to help me with this. Um, I'm just going to, you know, I want to be there on time, ahead of time. I don't want nobody looking at their watch, calling me on the phone. I just want to be there. And I thank God that we did finally pull in. And, and, and it's good to come into the service. It's hot. Amen. 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 I don't know if you ever walk in the service that sound like somebody had just died. <laughs> you know, you walk in, you be like, Lord, get me out of here. But I thank God, uh, for his goodness. Amen. I do give honor to uh, Apostle Sloss and his absence, <coughs> to uh, Assistant Pastor, Amen. my friend, my brother, Amen. Lenny Corton. Thank God for him, Minister Chris. Amen. Thank God for you. And, and my little brother there, uh, I'm going to start with the house folk first, uh, Minister Santee. Amen. Amen. Lord, uh, that's, that was like, I tell you, the energizer thing. It just keeps going and going and going. I tell you, I tell you more about him. I've been my Indiana first family. As an Indiana first, praise God. <laughs> tell him I won't be at the meeting tomorrow, but you just tell him to pray for me. And so, uh, <laughs> God is good. Um, I don't want to take all your time tonight, but I just want to talk to you about a little story. Uh, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty where with Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. And be not entangled. I just stopped right there. There's a story I want to go to in 2 Kings, the fifth right. chapter. All right. We're going to build on this. If I don't preach it the way you want me to preach it, pray for me. Right. Maybe tomorrow night something happens. I don't know. <laughs> I never been one to want to be like everybody else. I just kind of have to be me. Amen. Come on. Amen. Uh, Amen. Anybody Amen. else, then something's wrong. Amen. I want to get up here and jump like Miss Santee. But then I thought, I said, you know, I got to preach after that. And I thought that jumping, I probably had to preach from a chair. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to save that. But we'll get there sooner or later. But you know, I I'm going to jump out there with him tonight. Praise God. We get to the Lord. Second Kings, the fifth chapter, starting at the first verse, and it says, "Now, and here go a good word, Naaman was commander of the army of 
the king of Aram. He was a great man in the sight of his master and highly regarded because through him, the Lord had given victory to Aram. He was a valiant soldier, but he had leprosy. I appreciate you standing on the praise God. Naaman, here, here, here's a good story for you, Naaman. Naaman. <coughs> Naaman was, uh, he was a highly ranked official in the army. And as we can see right here, he was what they would call a commander, one of the generals, one of the lieutenants, one of the ones that when he walked in, people had to salute him. People had to respect him. Naaman. Look at him. I mean, he just... He, he, there are people that, that, are, that are in the world that when you see him, you just look at him and say, man, that's a, just a great person. That was Naaman. And, and the Bible says that he, he, was, he had this because uh, the Lord had gave him victories. And, and the, did you hear? the Lord had gave him victories. Amen. Now, that's all good, too. He was a valiant soldier, the Bible said. Valiant, that means he knew what he was doing. He was good at his job. Very good at his job. But, isn't that messed up when they put the butt there? <laughs> you was good at this, you was good at that, you got this, you got a nice home, you got a new car, you got beautiful children, you got all this stuff. But, <laughs> do you know what butt actually means? But cancels out everything that's yes. before. Amen. Nothing before the butt matters. Come on now. But, he had leprosy. My God. I thought about this, and I said, Naaman, I, I, I see these accolades. I'm looking at all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Come on. But you got leprosy. How is it that you can do all this stuff? Uh-huh. But My God. you can't all this weight. Mm. How many times in the church? Do we have all these accolades? Come on now. We missionary evangelists. Well. We elder apostle. <laughs> come on. We bishop so and so. We got all these churches. We preaching all these people. All these folks falling out. But my God. But, come on. Come on. Church, man. But there's something that can't nobody help me with. Come on, man. My God. Come on. I got a struggle. Jesus. That I can't man. have nobody yes. do nothing Lord. with. I, 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 I got an issue that if I told you about, you might not want to sit next to me in the church. Come on, come on, We're talking about, but, yeah. but he had leprosy. But this is what God showed me. I was on my way here, and this is what the Lord spoke to me. He said, did you read everything the name and did? I said, yes, sir. He said, but he had leprosy. I said, yes, sir. I said, but how is that happening? He said, look, look, look. If you read the New Testament, every time the lepers went around folk, they had to scream out they had leprosy because leprosy was contagious. But I use Naaman. Jesus. Oh. Naaman wasn't supposed to be around nobody. Come on. But he was close to the king. Come on now, boy. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on now. Yes, sir. He had leprosy, but the king wanted to use. Come on now. Come on. Hallelujah. You may have some issues in your life, but God still can use you. Hallelujah. I don't care what was after your butt. You got to remember who the one that sent you in the first place. Yeah. It wasn't even the coach that sent me. It was the king of glory that sent me. Even though I may have a struggle, even though I may have some pain, even though I may have a cry for blood, there is the king that has already approved me. And because the king sent me, I can go. Yeah. Oh, That's so That's so Yes. See, the thing about it is, why are you allowing that stuff after your butt to stop you from going forward? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. My Lord. Why is it that because you got this problem, all of a sudden you can't come to church no more? Come on, come on, come on. All of a sudden because you got this ailment, you can't worship God no more. Come on. Since I heard your voice, and I know the devil will try to tell you, it's the time you should say that. It's the time you know you should sit back. And if I can just wave my hand, if I can't say a word, come on now. If that's, if that's, if that's, if that's, if that's to be your song. If I can't say a word, I just wave my hand.